So Funky Friday just added in a new setting in the game two updates ago that might actually help improve your gameplay and also improve your focus as well. We are going to be diving into this new tool and explain how this can actually help improve your game so that way you guys can get more points, more wins, and ultimately get, you know, pretty much become the best players on their servers. So if you guys are enjoying these tips and tricks videos on Funky Friday and all the other videos that we do on the channel, make sure you smack the like. Don't forget to also subscribe as well or else Tabby's going to steal your girlfriend and I don't think that's going to be a good idea. So if you guys don't know how to get to the settings in Funky Friday, you got to go to the pink gear cog at the top left corner of the screen and then scroll all the way down to scroll under light transparency. This is going to be the new setting that they added this in during the versus tabby update so basically what it does is it actually adjusts the opacity of the background behind the notes so you know how if it's on a default of one you're not gonna have a different colored background behind the notes scrolling down or up depending on your gameplay you're not gonna have like a little black or gray colored box behind the notes it's going to be completely invisible if you have it at a default of one but if you change this setting to let's say 0.5 for example then you're gonna start to notice there's gonna be a big box behind the notes it's gonna make things possibly a little bit more easier to focus especially on gameplay here now for me personally I'm probably gonna try out a 0.5 and see how I do with 0.5 compared to just one but we're gonna actually do a little bit of a test on the video and see if it's actually gonna be better to have it at 0.5 or just leave it at one for example so this is how it looks like at a setting of 0.5 and you can definitely notice that there's a black background behind the notes now this could actually help you guys out quite a bit because here's the reason why now a good reason why you want to leave this at 0.5 or any equivalent is because there is always going to be a lot of people on the stage whenever you're playing against your opponent and even though they do have that setting where you can hide players off the stage sometimes if they reset their character they're still going to be showing up on the stage and they can actually become a distraction for you so having these backgrounds for the notes is actually going to help you improve it's actually going to help you stay focused on the game and also on the notes as well so you don't get distracted by you know some other people on the stage behind you doing some weird dance or something now you can go all the way down to zero on this one we're gonna see how it looks like at zero now at zero i think it's going to be completely a solid color it's not going to be like you're not even going to see the background you're not even going to see the stage with zero i think that's what i it's gonna happen all right so this is how it looks like at completely zero it's completely black in the background you cannot see anything in the background so if you guys you know if you guys probably have like high lag or something like that if you guys just want to focus a hundred percent on the song and not miss like any notes or not even get a slight distraction from the background this might actually be the option for you guys like honestly this might actually help you guys focus big time 100 percent just on the song which would be really really good so during our mini test i did three controlled attempts at bad apple on lunatic mode using one 0.5 and then lastly zero as our underlay transparency setting values our first run of bad apple with the setting at default netted us a score of 177,450 points which is okay that's usually what i get for the song the second run with the setting at 0.5 darkened the box up quite a bit and they became more noticeable the second run ended up getting 181,000 400 points which was nearly 4,000 points higher and 2.2 percent better than the default run the last run at zero completely blackened out the boxes and the last one i was able to score 180,730 points which was a little bit worse than the last run but still 3,280 points higher than the default run and it was also 1.8 percent better though this was only a mini test I did notice that I was able to focus a lot better on the charting and I was able to perform better as well than I did the first round. And both with the 0.5 and the 0 underlay setting value runs, they both performed better than the default one, which leads me to think that this might actually help you guys as well. So once again, the reasons why you want to try to change this underlay transparency is number one, it's going to try to minimize the amount of distractions in the background, no matter it may be people staying on the stage when they're not supposed to, or people trying to get your attention and try to distract you from your gameplay. That's reason number one. Reason number two, it could actually help improve with lag, possibly. And the reason why I say possibly is because these black rectangles may actually block some of the graphics in the background. So that's going to be less work 
that your computer has to do to put out or mobile or whatever you guys use, it's going to be less work for that device in order to output. So that means you might actually get a little bit more of an FPS boost just by, you know, getting rid of more graphics in the background, just replacing it with a big black rectangle behind the notes. And reason number three, for a lot of people who play other rhythm games, such as, let's say, you know, Dance Dance Revolution, for example, those games actually do not have, like, any background or anything like that. They just have a rectangle as well, like a, just a colored box in the background. So keep it nice and simple. You might stay a lot more focused, and you might actually get more wins and more six just by keeping things nice and simple compared to having like a very vibrant background. But yeah, that's my take on the new underlay setting right there, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and if it did help you out, make sure you definitely smack that like. Don't forget to also subscribe as well for more tips and tricks videos coming out soon. I know I haven't really been doing too many of them lately because I feel like I've covered almost everything on Funky Friday, so make sure you guys check out the playlist, but hopefully, hopefully this video helped you guys out. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody.